uh, I don't know when we decided to work more with the theater metaphor. It just came out of the work that I spontaneously uh, used terms of theater, roles, plays. I use it a lot when I'm talking about dreams, when was the curtain open, what is the point if the curtain is closing, so that you get a meta sense to reality, that reality is created. And the elements... Uh, the perspectives from which you can look at creating reality. And it turned out uh, that in our culture, every almost everybody doesn't have any problem to think and talk in these terms without saying we are now talking about personality. You can, every manager, say, so which have been your role, is it a, was it a good scene you played in? Uh, if you would have liked to rearrange the scene and you could do it on a stage, you have any idea how to do it? And they do not have usually any problems <coughs> in uh, co-designing with you because we, many of us have a basic implicit idea what theater is. So it's really easy to use it. And um, <clears throat> we also came up with the idea to design personality as a portfolio. Not saying you are the one personality coming from your childhood and it was developed like, like, like a plant in interaction with your parents and so on. This is one way to look at personality. The other is, what is your real life today? Where you are, the life you live. And the life you live happens on the stages you are on, within the roles you play, within the place you initiate or accept to be in. And what else should be personality in a present perspective senses? And so we were just, what is the portfolio uh, of your life situations? And then you can uh, look at from the perspective which stages uh, you are on, in which roles you play, you spend your life most of the time, what are your topics or themes you are interested in, what are the kind of stories that are told on these stages, and in which styles uh, are they played. I want to uh, comment a bit around styles. When I work with people, I usually watch their style of creating reality. Uh, and it's a, it's a, a meta focus uh, on each kind of personal work. And I believe, for example, in a marriage, whether two people can go along with each other or not, has a lot to do with their styles, not so much with the topics or the mm. themes they have. Mm. And if the styles don't match, they have a problem. Mm. And I don't know why style as a focus of communication work is, is, is not attended so much. Mm. Mm. And we will have some concepts later on uh, types of styles. For example, I am an intensity diminisher. When it goes important to me, I get calm. My wife is an intensity enhancer. When it's important to her, she's putting a lot of fire <laughs> <laughs> on the support. And when we want to want together be essential, we have a problem. I want to be calm and she wants to be very lively. And when she's too lively, uh, my neurons collapse. <laughs> and, when, <laughs> and when I am as calm as I want to be, she thinks it's boring. <laughs> this cannot be essential. <laughs> and so we have a, only in this a style dimension, we have a problem <laughs> uh, to live in the same world. And so to study one's style and as a professional, it's important. Uh, certainly, you have your preferences in styles. 
And it's also important to enlarge your possibilities to, uh, to connect to more styles. Uh, and not uh, expecting that the other person to, to tunes into your style, but really to meet on a style level. And there's a, ra a range you feel very familiar and comfortable. There's a space where you can connect for some time. And if you are in a professional role, it's okay to do it for a day or three hours or so. And it's a, a range where you feel at home. And it's important to differentiate between these uh, expectations, between style and count. So I think style is an important thing. Yes. Do things like um, in TA drivers or outside of TA, MBTI, Myers Briggs? Yes, yeah, these are ways to describe, yeah, yeah uh, concepts uh, you can use to describe styles, yeah. So, personality uh, is, from that point of view, just your portfolios. Which roles do you play, which stages you're on, which themes you have, which stories you tell or uh, be involved in being told, and w which styles. And then if you feel kind of interest to change, you can ask, so what do you want to change? Do you know at what, which perspective to change? Is it the roles, the stages, the themes, the stories, the styles? Maybe if you are a trainer, you know that people want to change professions. They want to be psychotherapists now because they want to uh, be more in contact with human mm -hmm. uh, affairs in their work. They try to change roles and stages, but this might be the wrong way mm -hmm. to, to, to try to be more human. So I tell them, it's okay to be a professional. You have knowledge of all kind. Uh, we have so many unhappy psychotherapists, we do, do not need <laughs> one more. <laughs> so it's more the question of, of styles, of themes, of stories, within your, on the stages you are already on and, and accepted within the roles you really know how to play. The people very often try to change in the wrong perspective. And this is a, a to, to state personality as portfolio in the theater metaphor helps you uh, to discuss where is, is the wish or the need to change something and how, and if we would do that, what would be better? And if you change styles, uh, can you do it on this stage? On this stage, uh, this style is obligatory. If you want to change style, you might also think about uh, changing uh, stages where this other style is, is possible. And and the context invites you into this other style. You don't have to bring this in this style only from your personality. And so uh, non, not psychologically trained people immediately can dialogue on personality in these terms. Mm. And they do not, usually they do not feel that it's too intimate or it's private. Mm. Um, and you also can be oriented to past, present or, uh, or future by asking what are the stages you come from, which stages you, did you change? So, which, on which you spend your lifetime? And when you look to the future, which are the stages you feel like uh, will give meaning to you, and, and which will not have uh, are sold out in some way? And this is the same with roles, themes, stories, and styles of play. So. It's more, the attitude is going with that is more an entrepreneur attitude towards your personality and living your life and not the question uh, how I'm the consequence of my biography 
and what will I really be in future in my essence? It's much more practical. And individuals and also organizations meet for inventing shared place. So up to now I talked about this as a personality model, model, but you can also use it for an encounter model. If two people who have all these questions come together to play together, then the question is which stage is the right stage. Sometimes people try to play together on a professional stage and they better should... Uh, choose private stages like bedrooms and it would be much more successful <laughs> and shorter. <laughs> uh, and uh, the desires, they have to meet each other. In which roles can these desires be met the best? And around which themes, in which style, and so on. So you also can use to um, to look at personal encounters and relationship, and also organizational. So merging of two organizations. So what is their style? Sometimes they are so different in style; they only um, are not successful because of differences in style that they cannot overcome. And that's um, a graphic showing this. So personalities is our stories, topics, and so on. And the interaction between all these things. And if you look as a regisseur of a play in a theater, then you have to think about how could things fit together that it's a, there is a good play. And a good play is a good personality. And this is a graphic for meeting. If you want to have a shared play, each of them has to think about their perspective, topics, stories, roles, and so on. And to, to talk about what's your style, it's okay, that is your style, what is our style, our, what are the stages, important things happen in our company, what are the stages, important things happen in your a company to know each other. You remember the encounter model, the culture encounter model. So this is the way to make this more operational, the culture encounter model. And then when you want to talk, how can we go together? You can ask together on stages, which are, should should be the shared stages, the preferred shared stages. We cannot do everything at once. On which stages should we start and exper experiment how we fit together? And what about the roles? What about the stories, topics, and so on? So it's a, a, a quite easy, understandable way to talk about matching. Does it make sense? Yes. What comes to mind for me? Is, is thinking of a very um, recent cultural metaphor. Have you ever seen the television program Glee? Yeah. It's an American program about um, a school choir, school music club, mm -hmm. and they do what they call mashups, where they get one song, a very different song, and they put it together mm -hmm. and they create a stage production out of these two very different styles, uh -huh. these two very different songs and finding some way for the beat to mix. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's what kind of... It's a wonderful comes metaphor. Yeah, there's some great mashups. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is fun. How can two companies sing together? Yeah. <laughs> What's that common beat? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's not more just a, a didactic uh, tool to talk about personality and encounter on personal level, team level, organizational level.